It is at the altar of prayer you take back what belongs to you in Christ. Now, God has said to you, this is yours. <laughs> but uh, don't think that Satan will just watch. I said, what you don't want, don't watch it, you contend in prayers. Satan, take up. God gave us where the cathedral is, but there was heavy contention. Heavy what? It was prayers that made us got it back. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are certain things God has given to you that Satan will not want them to get to you. You have to get up and take it by. And from today, they will be released to you. Amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. Number three, resist the devil with prayers. Resist the devil with what? Resist the devil with prayers. What do I do as a praying father? Resist the devil with prayers. In Luke chapter 11 and verse 20 to 22, it says, But if I, with the finger of God, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted and divided what? His body. The strong man is the devil. Who is the strong man? So you stand against him and take back all that belongs to you in redemption. You have to come fiercely. You have to come what? In prayers. I say, Satan, no way. You can't dear me. Your health is being threatened. You fight him. He says, Satan, you can't destroy my health. I come against you. You can't kill my son. I come against you. You can't attack my family. I come against you. In the name of Jesus, take your hands off. And as you stand in the gap, God will hear you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 